Hello, my name is Mike, and in this video we're going to show you how to create an interactive 3D product viewer with Experient Creator. Let's say you had a product, and you wanted people to be able to look at your product and interact with it in 3D. Using Experient Creator, that's very easy to do, and we're going to show you how to do that. The product I've selected today is a chair, just a simple chair. And the easiest way for me to grab a chair is I'm just going to grab one out of 3D Google Warehouse. I've already done a search for simple chairs. We're just going to select one. To import the model, all we need to do is simply grab it out of Internet Explorer and drop it into Experient Creator. And here we can see our simple little chair. It's been imported import into our scene. We can rotate it around and look at it. But we want to start making this scene uh, a little more interactive. We want to add some options and we want to make it look very nice to the end user. So the first thing we're going to do is let's add our company name up at the top. So the way we want to do that is we want to add some text to the scene. And it's coming in with just the default. Let's change that to our company name. Acme Chair Company sounds good for today. And we'll center that. Now the next thing we're going to do is we want to make the improve the background look of the scene. So let's go over here to UI Elements. Let's bring in a nice gradient background. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. As you can see, we can rotate the scene, but it would be nice to be able to offer this chair in different materials. Uh, for example, different wood patterns, uh, different patterns on the seat, different materials, etc. So the way we do that is we use what we call smart objects. So let's go over here to our UI elements. And let's go down and what we want to use is we want to use the material changer. And all I need to do is simply drag it on whatever part of the mesh or the object we want to change, in this case the wooden part. And when I press the play button and I select that, that swatch, the, back, the color of the chair or the wood pattern will change. We want our user to be able to select multiple different types of wood, so we're going to have multiple little color swatches. So let's put a couple of these on here. Now each one is coming in with the default wood pattern, and we're going to change that in just a second here. So now what I'll do is to change the, the pattern of the wood on the swatches, I simply go up here to wood the different images that are that come with the Experient Creator. I select the pattern that I want to, to add to each one of these swatches. So let's pick a how about a, a mahogany and we'll put that on this one. And how about a gray wood for this one. So now when I press the play button and I select my different swatches, you can see that the chair changes based on whatever swatch that I picked. Now let's do the same thing for the, the seat. We want to be able to change the material on the seat. So let's go back to our UL, UI elements. Let's go to our material changer once again. And this time we're going to drop it on the seat. And we'll move it to this side. Go ahead and put at least two on there. And again, it comes in with the default wood pattern, but we want to change it to something else. So let's go up here to General Materials. How about a bamboo pattern on this one? And how about a weave pattern for the other one? So now this time, when we hit Play, we can not only change the pattern of the wood, but we can also change the pattern on the seat. Or the wood. Now the last couple things I want to do to this scene is we want to improve um, the, the user experience on 
the scene when we deliver it to them. So we're going to go back over to UI Elements. And we're going to add two more simple things to the scene. First thing we want is we want to have an exit button. So when the user is done playing with the product, they can have an exit button. So we can see we've added an exit button there. And the other thing we want to add is we want to add a different cursor. So I'm just going to grab the hand cursor. And when I want to press play, now we have a hand that we can rotate the chair around with or pick our different patterns. We hope this gives you a very small taste of what Experient Creator is capable of doing. If you want to learn more about us or our product, please visit Experient.com.